Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Sumah Farida Terina binti Muhammad So in this video, my group and I would like to present about our assignment which is Analysis Milk Powder using FTIR Spectroscopy So let's move on to the introduction So what is FTIR? FTIR stands for Fourier Transform Infrared Spectroscopy It's an analytical instrument used to identify organic, polymeric and inorganic materials It is also used to analyze the chemical composition based on their interaction with infrared radiation Okay, the basic principle of FTIR spectroscopy includes passing infrared light through a sample to absorb specific frequencies of the infrared radiation. So, this, uh, this absorption frequencies are characteristic of the molecular structure, functional groups, and chemical bonds present in the sample. So, in this instrument, an interface wave uh, is synthesized from two beams separated by a beam speaker. So, the detected interference waveform, which is an uh, interferogram, is Fourier transform and the spectrum is obtained by separating each wave number. So the entire infrared spectrum is collected simultaneously using an interferometer. Okay, last but not least is the resulting interferogram is transformed into a spectrum that divide that divided into two main parts which is a uh, functional groups region and fingerprint region. So the functional group regions start from 1500 to 400 cm negative 1 while the fingerprints region start from 1500 to 5, uh, 500 cm negative 1. So the functional group uh, region uh, give uh, obvious and distinct results of which functional group exists, while the fingerprint region may be a guide to determine functional groups, but that will be uh, less likely to happen. In this experiment, we test four brands of milk. Which is uh, which are subdivided into two main parts, which is animal-based milk and plant-based milk. So, in addition, uh, animal-based milk contains various bioactive compounds, including vitamins, minerals, organic acids, biogenic amines, and oligosaccharides. While the plant-based uh, plant milk um, is completely free from uh, animal-based ingredients <coughs> and may lack some component associated with mammalian milk such as cholesterol, saturated fatty acids, antigen and lactose but is a good source of non-allergic proteins, minerals or essential fatty acids making it a dairy-free alternative. So that's all from me. Let's move on to another part. Hi, Assalamualaikum. I am Putinu Alia. I will continue with methodology. There will be three parts. Material and apparatus, procedures and safety precaution. So, first part is material and apparatus. Materials used in this experiment is milk powder sample, lint-free tissues or wipes, ethanol, uh, milk sample we use uh, like S26 coat, friendly full cream, HLP Nutrica Nutritious 10 Plus, and Biofist Nutrifit 365. Next is apparatus. Apparatus we use are dropper, spatula, and Perkin Elmer FTIR Spectrum 3. So next part is procedure. First, prepare a few types of milk powder. Oh yes, I would like to share with you a little bit how to prepare sample. So for solid, sample we can use KBR pellet method where we ground the sample with potassium bromide into a fine powder and then it will be it will be pressed with high pressure to form a pellet. It can and after that we can just directly place in the IR for analysis. Next, liquid. As what Anjit Zurin said, for liquid liquid sample, we can just directly put a small amount of the sample in the FTIR analysis using a dropper, okay? As for gas, we can use gas cell to perform analysis. Okay, now we continue back with the procedure. So again, first, prepare a few types of milk powder. Second, as I can, place the milk powder in the sample compartment. Third, run the FTIR analysis. Fourth, record and analyze the graph data on the reading devices, which is computer. Fifth, Wipe the sample compartment with lint free tissues to remove any residual sample material because it can contaminate another sample spectrum or results. 6. Repeat with another milk powder, for example. 7. Interpret, interpret the FTIR spectrums. And next part is, which is the last part of methodology, which is a safety precaution. Make sure to close the door of the FTIR to control humidity and longer the lifespan of FTIR. Wipe the compartment after usage to prevent contamination like to prevent contaminate the another sample like, like I've told you it will affect uh, another another sample spectrum and lastly be gentle when wiping to avoid scratching the optical surface because if it's scratch scratch 
scratches, it will affect the accuracy. Sorry, I missed the first point, which is to make sure to prepare a suitable sample to improve sensitivity. Like I have present just now, uh, the sample preparation part. So you need to prepare a sample suitable for analysis. Not just simply put the sample like solid, the block of it, just put it. So we cannot, we cannot just use that, okay? So make sure it is suitable to improve sensitivity to get a more accurate result. My name is Irina. I will be explaining about the result that we have received from the experiment. So the first one is a sample of S26 milk powder. From S26 milk powder, we have recorded a few peaks from the sample which is consists of hydroxy group, amine and also aliphatic phosphate and also esters. So uh, the intensity varies from weak, medium to strong. The next sample is friendly full cream milk powder. From this sample, we have received this kind of graph where we record most of the it is around 80% of transmitted. So the result of this sample consists of amine, methylene, esters, and aliphatic phosphates. Um, the result is quite same as quite similar as uh, S26 milk powder as both of these samples are from animal sauce. The third sample that we analyzed is sample of plant plus milk powder. This is sample uh, plant-based sample. So there's a few of it that was recorded as shown in the graph. So the result of this sample is we found hydroxy group, ester, aliphatic phosphate and also amine. The last sample that we have analyzed is biophase milk powder. Um, the result is quite similar to the previous one as both of these are plant-based samples. So we have found a methylene, hydroxy group, amine, amide and aliphatic phosphate also in this sample. Hi, I am Shin Kai Sien, and I will be presenting about the discussion in this experiment. Based on the interpreter spectrums, for both animal and plant milk powders, there are CH2 and ester absorption bands which are related to the acute of fatty acid, amine from protein, phenol from carbohydrates, phosphates mineral, and hydroxy group from fatty acid and carbohydrate. This, this shows that both types of milk have similar constituents. Some major differences between the two types of milk are that animal milk only has lactose and glucose as carbohydrates, while plant milk may have sucrose, fructose, glucose, and starch. Regardless of the fewer types of carbohydrate in animal milk, they still have more sugar content than plant milk with a mean of averagely 50.2 gram per kilogram lactose. Note that carbohydrate content mentioned does not include the additive in milk. Besides, plant milk usually has less saturated fatty acid and more unsaturated fatty acids except for coconut milk. For protein content, animal milk will have more than plant milk except soy milk that has the highest protein content milk among all plant-based beverages. Plant milk also has lower content of phosphate mineral than animal milk unless there are additives in the milk. There is no specific best milk to be consumed as it depends on the consumer's condition, preference, and needs. Generally, those who have lactose intolerance should drink plant-based milk to avoid the discomfort of stomach. The nutrient content can be referred to choose the suitable milk for consumption. Both animal milk powders have similar spectra, as well as both the plant milk powder. Before the FTII analysis is performed, both animal milk powders has been exposed to air due to improper storage, causing air moisture enter the powder. Hence, more peaks appear in both spectra of animal milk powder. For plant milk powder, the spectra are smoother since they are stored in closed and sealed packets. The last part is conclusion. To conclude, in this experiment, we were able to get a detailed information about the composition and structure of material in milk powder. We were able to know that functional group can be determined through peaks, peaks on the spectrum using the FTIR machine. This experiment also presents presents the results of FTIR, FTIR spectroscopy, comparative study of two types of milk, which are plant-based milk and animal-based milk. We, we also get to study the chemical composition and FTIR spectra of four milk powder samples of each peak, of each peak to know its functional group. This confirmed that pro protein, carbs, fats, and phosphate minerals exist in both types of milk powder samples.